Hi there, this is Patricia Fenty from patriciafenty.com and today I'm going to show you how you can crochet this really cute little pouch. And you can use this for any number of items. I made this to store my new ergonomic crochet hooks in and so it works really well but I had to put them into a little Ziploc bag because the hooks actually poke through the fabric but um, but it is a nice place to put them in and and I, I really like it. So this is a really cute little pouch, super simple to make. It's a project you could do with your children and I'm using a bunch of scraps and odds and sods and I'll show you here my pile of, of yarn. So this is all left over from a big crochet project that I did, which is an online course on how to crochet a bohemian poncho for beginners. And I'll just show you here. I'll just, um, here it is. And this is a really, really fun course. It's very comprehensive. I'll put a link to that below. I get so many compliments on this poncho and it is suited for beginners. So it's a lot of fun. So yeah, with all these leftover yarns, I thought I could create a fun little uh, little pouch. So let's get started. Now in addition to the yarn, I'm using a number four worsted yarn. You're going to need a button and a tape measure, uh, some scissors, and a darning needle and I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook and this is a really basic pattern but if you're new to crochet I'll put a link to my beginner crochet series below that will show you everything you need to know to make this pouch so we're gonna start with a slip knot and you wrap that around your finger bring the yarn over the thumb and bring the yarn in behind that loop there and I do show this in the beginner crochet series Put your crochet hook in the front of the loop, keeping your tail to the right, snug it up. And then you're going to set up your tension, and I do teach this in the beginner crochet series as well. And so you're, you're going to hold onto your tail, put the yarn over the back of your hook, and just pull it through the loop. And that's your first chain. Yarn over, and pull the hook through your loop. And so putting the yarn over the back of the hook and bringing it through the loop. And that's how you create a chain stitch. Now I am making this piece 11 inches by eight and a half inches. So I'm going to crochet this chain, this beginner chain to make it 11 inches. You can make yours any size you like, or you can follow this pattern. So I'm going to make it 11 inches in length total and here we go so now I'm at 11 inches so this whole pattern is going to be made with a half double crochet so now what you want to do is you want to chain two and this counts as your first half double crochet then you're going to skip two stitches yarn over and you're going to put your hook into the top post of the third stitch. Bring your yarn through and you'll have three loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull the yarn through all three stitches and that's a half double crochet. So you're gonna do that again into the next stitch, again going into the top post and pull the yarn through you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and bring that through. And so continue yarn over, go into the next stitch. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three loops. So just carry on and go all the way across. And now here I am at the end of my row and I just have two chains left. You can see there that's one and two and then that's that beginning knot so you don't want to go into there. So finish off this row and one more. Put 
and now you're at the end of your row. So now you're going to chain two, and this counts as a half double crochet, and then you're going to turn your work, set up your tension, and then you're going to skip those two chains. That's your, that's like your half double crochet. You're not going to crochet into there. You're going to go into this first stitch uh, after those two chains. So you skip two and you're going to go into the top of both posts with a half double crochet. So yarn over and going into both posts underneath and do a half double crochet. Yarn over and going under both posts all the way across and um, oops but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join on another color so I'm going to show you how you can add a color in the the middle of your pattern and <clears throat> excuse me so this I'm, I've come to the end of my yarn here so I'm going to show you how to do a magic knot so line your yarns up like this, bring in your new color, and you're going to bring your bottom yarn underneath the top yarn, and bring the yarn over to the left, over both pieces of yarn, and then bring the little tail underneath that lower yarn. And you can see how that looks like that. I'm just going to leave it like that. I won't tighten it up yet. So then on this side, you're going to go over top of your lower yarn, the dark color, and then bring the tail underneath both of those pieces of yarn. And then you bring your tail in through the top of that top yarn, just like that. And so you have two opposing knots. So snug that up really tight and snug this one up really tight. Now the advantage of doing this is that um, you don't have to darn in all your ends as, as you're going along. And it can actually be a bit confusing to add a color in the middle of a row. You can sometimes end up with an extra chain stitch. So you don't need to know why, uh, but this just works really well. So cut your tails, cut them really close. Make sure you cut your tails and not your working yarn. And there you go. And you, then you have a very nice tight knot. And then you just carry on and crochet long and crochet that right into your pattern. So here we are coming to the end of your first row here. And what you want to watch for when you're coming to the end of your row is you can see the top of your stitches are from the row before are a real definite V. See that? There's a real definite V. And, and you'll notice that as the row turns, you lose that real definite V. This last V is the last stitch that you will crochet into in your row. And this is what helps to keep your edges straight. Some people will carry on and go down into that uh, turning chain, that, that two chain, um, or they might even skip this last stitch and stop there. So it's really important that you're mindful and you watch for that very last V stitch to crochet into. So I'll just carry on to the end here and show you again how you can turn the corner. So you can see that's quite obvious you have further to go. So I think the problem a lot of beginners have is they actually go too far. So they'll do this stitch and then they'll go into the next one. So, so just be mindful of that. So there you are, you're at the end of that row. So now you're going to chain two, turn your work, and that counts as your first half double crochet. So you skip those two stitches, yarn over, and do your half double crochet into that third stitch, again going underneath both posts. And continue with your half double crochet all the way along. 
so carry on. So here we go at the end of the row and I'm just picking up that last V stitch with my half double crochet. And now I'm going to show you how you can join on a new color uh, at the beginning of a row. So this is what you can do if you want to start a new row with a new color. So just cut the tail off and just pick a new color. And all you do is just literally take your new color, bring it in through your loop, that top of your half double crochet loop, snug it up, and then snug up that tail as well and uh, bring the yarn down onto your hook. And now you're going to chain two. So this is your, your, half, your first half double crochet. So turn your work. Now there's two ways that you can work in these tails. You can either darn them in later or you can crochet them in. So I'll show you how you can crochet them in. So there's your, your two stitches, your chain two. So tuck your tails in behind the row and sort of keep them on top of your work. And then you're going to put your hook in and keeping your tails on top of the work. Oops, I forgot to do my half double crochet. Okay, so yarn over, go into those that stitch and bring your yarn through, yarn over and do your half double crochet, keeping your yarn in between the stitches there. So again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, again, keeping your tails on top of the work and do your half double crochet. And so yarn over, keeping your tails on top of the work. So I'll just speed this up a little bit and then I'll show you how it looks as you sort of crochet all the tails in. So coming to the end of the tails here, I'll show you at the back so you can just nip those little tails off. But there's the new color and then you can see on the back here how that has been crocheted in very nicely. And then you just nip off the end. So you can do it this way or, or you can um, darn them in later. So just carry on and just mix up your colors and have some fun and I'll show you how I make out. So I'll see you back. All right, so here I am. I'm all done and my finished width is eight and a half inches and that's the width of my pouch. So I'm just going to finish this off and show you how you can cast off. So of course you can make this pouch any size you like. And this panel is 11 inches by eight and a half inches, which is just the right size for my crochet hooks. So I'm just getting into that last V stitch there. It's a little bit of a tight stitch and I don't have my glasses on, which is making it hard to see. <laughs> so that's my last stitch. And to cast off, you just simply do a chain stitch. Cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail to darn in, pull it through and snug it up. So there you go. So now you want to go in and darn in these ends and any other ends you may have to darn in. And then I'll show you how you can stitch the sides of the bag together. So I'm going to darn my ends in and I will be right back and show you how to do that. All right, so I've darned those in and so you want to decide how big of a pocket you, that you want and how big you want your flap to be. So I'm thinking that looks good, just like that. And now we're going to sew the sides together here. So you, I'm just going to do a, a whip stitch here. You could use any sort of stitch that you like, but I, I like the whip stitch. It's a nice, neat stitch. So just put your yarn on your needle and take about 
three lengths of your your yarn like sort of the the amount that you're going to stitch there make it three lengths long and we're going to be starting to sew at the bottom here but I'm going to start this with a knot in the back because I want this to be a secure attachment but I'm going to start by marking this very bottom stitch so just bring the yarn through and cut a little piece there to mark that you could also also use a stitch marker so to make this nice and secure I don't want to just darn in the ends I want to create a little knot so I just wrap the yarn around my my index finger and with my thumb I roll it off the end of my finger and pull that in and that makes a nice little knot like that. So then you just join as if you are darning it in but the knot just gives it that little extra bit of security so just darn in one way and then I'll darn back in there and now I'm going to come in and come out through that stitch that I marked and that's going to bring me out at the very bottom and go underneath both uh, to under both uh, posts coming to the outside of your work and then you can fold this back over and you can see how that's nicely at the very bottom of, of the bag. So all you do is you can see here the uh, your V posts. There's two posts and they're on either side. And you're simply going to work in from the outside post. So taking the outside post and then going underneath to the outside post on the other side, just like that. And then bring your yarn over and again, go in underneath the outside post and underneath the, that outside post on the other side, just like that. And that's all you do. So coming around, going underneath both those posts, just like that. So I'm just going to speed this up a bit, but you get the idea. And so you just stitch along, closing up the sides just like that. And when you get to the top here, um, what I'm going to do, uh, again, I don't have my glasses on and I can't see this last stitch. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of stitches here at the top because I, I want the top of the bag to be secure because I'm going to be in and out of here a fair bit. So then I'll come through to the inside of the bag and, and uh, here we are on the inside and then I'm just going to darn this in. And uh, here, I'll just speed this up again too, just darning this in and coming back. And here you can, if you like, just put a little knot in just to make it a little more secure and then just darn your end in just like that. And that'll give you a nice secure closure. Snip it off. And you have your one side all sewn together. And see how nice and neat that is? You can't even tell. So go ahead and do that on the other side and then you can sew your button on as well. And I can't decide which color button I'm going to use here. Uh, but I'll show you how to make a loop for your button. All right, here we are. So I sewed my other side seam together and I have my button sewn, sewn on in the place where I want the button to be. So now we're just going to create a little chain stitch closure here. So these are sort of funny buttons because the po the holes are on the outside, but it'll work fine for what I'm doing here. So you just want to mark the edge of your button and put your hook in 
into the front of your flap. You'll be able to work it in through in through a an edge uh, stitch there, side stitch. So bring the yarn through. So the tail is at the back, and I know it's hard to see because the color's dark, but just snug that up and start doing some chain stitches. So make the chain stitch as long as you need it to be. And then I'll just flip this open so it's a little easier to see. So you wanna come in from the back of your flap now and bring your loop through and then just do another chain stitch to snug that on and cut your yarn, pull it through, and there you go. And now you want to darn these in, and I would put a little knot in there as well so it's nice and secure. So go ahead and do that, but you can see how that works as a nice closure. And here is the final reveal. And I just love this pouch. It's perfect for my crochet hooks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video tutorials. Thank you so much for joining me.